So, Helene and I have traveled a lot. Uh, I've been around the world about 2,600 times. And <laughs> when you travel a lot, it's really nice. You get to see new places. You get to see new places and you get to learn new things, but you still, you miss home. And uh, sometimes it's really nice to, uh, to have something that really means something to you at home. Some place that, uh, that you really consider uh, something familiar that gives you a, a normal feeling, something you feel like you belong to. And one day it occurred to me, when we were living in another country, that there's a place in, in Canada that, that really has that special meaning for me. And so I wrote a song about it. This song is called The Last Refuge of Men, and it goes like this. Lately, I noticed life's making a change. All the old values seem kind of strange. All the old places seem kind of weird. I go to a bar, girls drink draft beer. So tell me, what can a man do that's only for men? Where can a guy go to be with his friends? Well, I've found a place to rekindle the fire. I go to Canadian Tire. <laughs> Canadian Tire, the last refuge of men. Handle the lumber and say hi to friends. Turn a wax, Winchester's work boots and wire. I go to Canadian Tire. I went to the opera, I watched the whole works. You know I got a fresh haircut, my wife chose my shirt. But the seat was too hard and the show was a bore. I hope nobody saw me from down at the store. Cause now that Gretzky's retired and Madden sells shoes. Where Saturday's heroes for us men to choose. You gotta turn off the TV and aim a bit higher. One down to Canadian Tire. Canadian Tire, the last refuge of men. The colors of car paint go on without end. Turn a wax, Winchester's work boots and wire. I go to Canadian Tire. One more verse. I went. Well, I stand in the rain and I wait for the bus And I go to the office, I suppose, cause I must And the work's on my desk in a gigantic pile But I'd rather be standing in the sporting goods aisle And there's only one problem that might lie ahead If the store should go broke, I'd be better off dead so quick, grab your wallets and be the next buyer. Support your Canadian Tire. <laughs> Canadian Tire, the last refuge of men. Fondle the hardware and say hi to friends. <laughs> Turtle wax, Winchester's work boots and wire. I go to Canadian Tire. Thank you very much and happy birthday, Sarnia! Chris, Chris, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Davidson wants to give you a, a gift from the city. I'll hold that. Apparently, oh, okay. Thanks. Well, thank you so much, Chris. I can see that our uh, federal dollars that we were so proud to put towards this <laughs> gathering celebration have certainly gone to good use with the 
hometown talent that we've had here tonight. And on behalf of the Centennial Committee and the entire community, I want to say thank you to you for giving so very freely of your time and your expertise. What a wonderful evening and you have made for us. And from the Centennial Committee, we have a little gift here for you. Now there's some Centennial memorabilia in there, but there are a couple special things. There's a Centennial book, and there's a Centennial watch. And both of those things are on sale here tonight, so everybody stop and take a look at those. The Centennial Committee's done a great job. There's the scarf that they have been promoting all year, promoting Sarnia for their 100th anniversary. So you got lots of things to, uh, to take home with you. And again, thank you so much. We always appreciate you having you and giving so freely of your time. So now I know what, what I have to do to get a gift from the city. <laughs> it's also the 20th anniversary of the Sting, who I believe, I believe play here. And we're going to show you a closing video now. This is the jersey from the first year, 20 years ago. It's, uh, it's Kirk Gibson's number. I'm sure you'll all remember. We're going to play the closing